Multilinguals, what's your they didn't realize I could understand their language story. I live in England but I come from Poland and am fluent in Polish alongside English. Couple of days ago I was ordering at a subway when two Polish employees started talking. It went something along the lines of this fate has wants chicken and bacon and they laughed. On a side note I feel like that's not that uncommon of an order, right? When it got to putting vegetables on the sub, I gave my order fully in Polish with a big smile on my face. The order cost me £4.80, but the looks on their faces were priceless. I what's wrong with those people, chicken and bacon is an excellent combination. When I was doing my exchange studies in China, native Russian, I was riding a subway in Shanghai. At one of the stops a mother and her daughter sat beside me. The daughter was maybe four or five and she wouldn't stop looking at me, then without turning her head she started asking her mom mommy why is mister so strange? Why is his hair strange? And so on. I didn't react as if I didn't speak Chinese, and the mother patiently told her daughter mister isn't strange, he's just a foreigner, they look different. I thought it was really sweet so I started talking to both of them in Chinese. They were very nice and I hope they're doing great now. Wholesome. I spent a semester in Beijing, and I found that people would stop and take pictures with me. I'm 6 apostrophe 3, blonde haired and blue eyed. I couldn't figure out why these girls kept taking pictures with me, so I asked one of the people that was taking us around Beijing, and he said oh. It's because you're exotic here. My dad grew up in Egypt and now travels the world for Dole, the fruit company. Once he was in Morocco at a plant who were possible suppliers and they tried to deceive him. They showed him the safety guidelines that were written in Arabic, but were describing different standards in English. My dad doesn't look like a typical Middle Easterner and has a very nondescript accent, so they thought they could fleece him. After the dude was done talk my dad says that's not what it says and the guy says what do you mean? My dad repeats the statement but in Arabic. The guy apparently dropped his jaw and all he could say was you speak Arabic. Needless to say that Moroccan plant did not get the gig. Also props to your dad for understanding Moroccan Arabic, no native Arab speaker can even understand it. Well my great aunt told a story of how she once went into a butcher shop. When she walked in, the butcher was talking with a customer in Russian, which she spoke. The butcher saw my great aunt walk in and told the costumer, in Russian, that he'd take care of this old hag, and then continue the conversation. So my great aunt, in English, asked for pounds and pounds of cold cuts, all sliced and wrapped. When it was all ready, she told him, in Russian, to shove it up your ass, and walked out. God I loved that woman. Revenge is best served in cold cuts. I was on the subway in NYC a few months ago when a family sitting across from me was playing I Spy in Hebrew with their kids. The parents went around describing each person they saw on the train, so when they got to me I decided to play along. I looked up from my book, made a funny face, and covered my face with the book before the kids could find me. The parents started laughing and said to their kids, I spy someone who understands us. The parents and I shared a good laugh about it while their kids got really excited that someone else spoke Hebrew. They never figured out who it was, but it made my commute a lot more fun. That is so painfully adorable, I wish I could give you more upvotes. I'm an extremely white American man. I was stationed in Korea, and a buddy and I went into a store that was slightly off the beaten path. My buddy was in a different section of the store and found something he liked. He asked the shopkeep how much it was, the shopkeep said, in Korean well, you're an American, so $65, translation and currency exchange provided for ease of reference. I looked over, and saw a sign on the wall that said the exact item he wanted was $40. I approached the shopkeep and asked him, in Korean, how much it cost, to which he replied $40. So I responded, in Korean, why are you charging him $65? 
he got rather embarrassed and apologetic, offered to sell the item for $35, and gave us each a soft drink for free. I am also stationed in Korea and start taking Korean language classes next month. I can't wait to listen in on people. As I will be here for three more years, it should be fun. I did learn to read Korean when I took a class with the Rokef in Q8 back in 2007, I just haven't buckled down and studied much since then. My neighbors went on holiday with her sister's family in Spain. The sister can speak fluent Spanish, they're Irish. Apparently a tour guide in Spain started talking about them referring to them as those English sluts. They were never ones to let anything slide so an argument broke out very quickly. Edit, woke up this morning to two direct messages asking me to call a number to join the Illuminate. Guess this is what fame is like boys. In my limited experience nothing pisses off the Irish more than being confused with the English. Yeah whatever about the slut thing to be honest. First of all, we're Irish sluts.